You can fuck off. I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> it would take a few years before I'm willing to climb into that sucker. But um, So the other problem with, with conspiracies, just to get back to that for a moment, is the problem of anomalies. What do you do with anomalies? This is true in all science. No theory explains every single thing that's out there that we want to study. There's always going to be some like quirky thing that the main theory here that explains all these things here doesn't account for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we do with that? Well, my joke is you assign it to a grad student. <laughs> they let them figure it out. <laughs> but what, what outsiders mistake uh, is that, well, my theory explains this little anomaly, so therefore it should replace this theory. And so people like Neil and Sean Carroll, Lawrence Krauss, M Michio Kaku has like two web pages. He has a, a link on his web page. If you have a, a, an alternative theory of physics, go to this page. So they go there, and, and it has, your theory has to explain all of these things over here that our theory currently explains and your whatever your uh, said anomaly is. And, of course, they can't. So um, it's not that scientists are dogmatically closed-minded to the anomalies. It's that... We can't explain everything, and you don't have to do anything with that. Just just leave it there. Maybe eventually they'll pile up, and, it, and there'll be a new theory, like with Einstein's relativity. Okay, there's enough anomalies here, uh, like the orbit of Mercury and a few other things, and so we have to modify Newtonian physics a little bit. Okay, that happens. But for the most part, like, and, and so conspiracies are filled with these things. Like the moment something big happens, you go back and, okay, but there's this weird thing here. How do you explain that? I don't know. We don't have to explain everything. Do you know that there's a growing movement that think that the, the space is fake? Space is fake. No, I, this is different than the flat earthers. Google hashtag space is fake. Oh, no. Hashtag space is fake. It's people that are so fucking stupid, the flat earthers kicked them out. <laughs> Oh, my God. For real. Flat Earthers kicked out the Space is Fake people. Space is Fake is... Oh, my God. They're the, the most skeptical. So what would be the upper atmosphere? Would be the edge of it's the universe? It's all bullshit. It's all fake. That's the end. And it's tied in some weird way to religion, which is really interesting. Mm. Because even the Flat Earth people, there's a tremendous amount of them that are extremely religious. And they, they talk about the firmament and the Bible. Right, bowl, right. And the Bible and that this is... Uh, this is what's really going on is that they're trying to keep us from the knowledge that God has created this place as a very special place. Right. And so by pretending that it's round, they somehow or another are controlling us. We're right. thinking that we're not exceptional and we're oh not boy. lucky. Space is fake. They're using a video from uh, Ryan Gosling's movie he just made about Neil Armstrong, the oh. first man on the moon. Yeah. Just be like, this is, look, look, here's proof. This oh, is how I they see. fake everything. This is fake. It's like they're making a movie. Because they're literally making the way they made the movie is that's evidence that it's fake. Because he's wearing it. I don't know if maybe this person doesn't recognize that as being Ryan Gosling right there. Mm. He's got a NASA suit on. Maybe it's just a troll account. Um, this is how NASA fakes that, yeah. everything. This is the video I was talking about, guys. Now you know it's all a big act. Hashtag you, you should, space uh, is fake. Click on space is fake, though. Oh, this, is what, this is what I'm on. I'm on the whole Yeah, but I mean, of, click on it because there's a bunch of other ones. Yeah, no, ones. I'm on that thread. There's is, a tremendous amount of people that literally believe that space is not real. Google no, a video I mean, of uh, how uh, Buzz Aldrin and how he deals with the no moonies that we never went to the moon. There's a video of Buzz Aldrin punching a guy. Yeah. Have you seen that? That guy. I, I had dinner with that guy. You did? The guy he punched. Yeah. I was a firm believer that we never went to the moon. You for were? Yeah. You know, this is what happened. I watched that uh, Fox documentary, yep. uh, The Moon Conspiracy yep. Theory, Did We Go? And I was like, holy shit. Because it was on television. And, was, and this was um, 96, 97. I remember I went to work and I told everybody, you got to see this documentary. It's crazy. We never went to the moon. And uh, I uh, watched that one and I watched this guy's... Um, what is his name? Bart Seibel. Bart Sibrel. Oh, yeah. So I had dinner with him. He absolutely believes that we never went to the moon. A hundred percent believes it. I don't know if he still believes it. I think he's like a cab driver or something now. He mm. got he was involved in the news or mm. lo local television or something like that. Mm. Back where he's from, um, then he released a documentary called "The Fun." A funny thing happened on the way to the moon. And in his documentary, one of the things he did have is some really interesting footage of the lunar module where it looks like they're faking a shot of them being really far out, but then when they remove this cover, the covers from all the windows that were inside the, the, um, the lunar, not the lunar module, what is the one that, the, the orbiter, um, it really looks like they're in low Earth orbit. 
And this is like the, mm. the main thing pointing to that like they couldn't get out of low Earth orbit. Mm. Then there was also the fact that they lost all of the telemetry data, which was the binary, you know, the ones and zeros that show mm -hmm. the position mm -hmm. of the lunar module at every stage. There was a bunch of different things. The fact that no one wanted, especially um, uh, Neil Armstrong, he became a recluse, never wanted to talk about it. You go and watch the uh, press conference. The press conference, they look very shady. They look like they're completely yeah, full of Yeah, but Buzz Aldrin's not like that. He well, talks he, to everybody. He was a drunk for a long time, though. He was, uh, he was very depressed and had, when, became an alcoholic after the moon landing. And the idea is that, oh, I see. The, right. in conspiracy circles, if I'm right. talking as right. them, the idea is that he got over it after a while and needed to make a living, and now he talks about it constantly. Okay. All right. But Neil Armstrong never did. The thing that's compelling is that there was there were some there's some faking going on. Um, if you look at Gemini, was it Gemini 15? Michael Collins. There's an image of Michael Collins when they were testing uh, some of the space uh, walking stuff and some of the uh, some of the the things that they would do to 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 walk outside of a spaceship. Um, they, they had them all strapped up with cables, and they're just uh, experimenting with these things. They took that photograph and then blacked out the background, probably some overzealous PR agent. Hmm. And you they mean blacked when they're like the in the back. pool this in Houston? This is it right here. Oh. So what it is is like, so the, the first one is clearly he's you know in a studio, and they're working on things and just trying to understand how all this stuff works. And the second one, they took the exact same photo and just reversed it and blacked out the background. And they, <laughs> okay. but this just, yeah. that doesn't mean that they didn't go to the moon. That just means that someone got a hold of some photographs and faked it. And it's way more likely that there was more of that going on mm -hmm. than that people didn't actually go to the moon, mm -hmm. right? 